Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy. I'm from a YouTube channel called Red Means Recording, and today we're gonna to be working with the Machine Plus and learning about lock states. Lock states are an incredibly powerful way to combine a whole bunch of automation changes into a single pad press. And you can use it for a ton of different things. You can use it to change effect states. You can use it to make synthesizers do certain things. You can make it to do almost everything in your entire arrangement if you want. And uh, today we're going to explore them from, you know, implementing some really basic stuff to getting a little bit more advanced and seeing just how powerful they are. If you're familiar with the Octatrack from Electron, uh, the scene slider on that, this is actually really similar to that. Um, but we do have some cool options in terms of what we can do with it when we morph between lock states. So obviously in order to get some lock states going, we need to have something in our pattern. So we're gonna start really, really simple and just make a drum kit and maybe a baseline out of the internal tools. So. That's a little slippier. I'm gonna to go to our master and add a limiter. And let's go ahead and get a baseline in here as well. So I'm gonna to go to group two and we're going to go to sound and add our bass synth. Let's go to our group for our drums. Add a little bit of saturation. So now we have a tiny little composition, right? Um, I'm gonna add polysynth. I'm just gonna add like a little stab, uh, a little stab stab. Let's get to lock stating. So in order to create our first lock state, all we gotta do is that. We've just created a lock state. Isn't that amazing? Truly amazing. Now, if you hit shift and lock, you get into the lock stage page. And each one of these, by the way, we got banks on banks here, can be a lock state. So let's get to lock stating and see what happens. Uh, let's see, turn off lock. I'm gonna go to our second friend uh, here. So, boop, and let's make a change. So with this kind of music, uh, some really simple stuff we can do is we can go into our group here. Let's go ahead and add an EQ. Go ahead and scoot this on over. Okay, so for this lock state, we're gonna turn this all the way down and hit lock. Let's go to over here and do the same thing. So if we go back into our lock states, we may need to change this one. So let's go ahead and update this. We'll turn this gain back up to here. And we'll go to our other channel and we'll turn this gain up to here. And we will go back into our external lock thing here. Say update. So we have one lock state now that has all of our full fidelity, all of our bass in both our bass and our drums. And this lock state has that EQ all the way down, uh, you know, in the low end there, scooped out. Let's make two more of these, and then we'll talk about this little thing right here, the morphing thing, because this is, this is the this, this shiz, this is good. All right, what could we for this one? Let's go into our, uh, we're gonna do that same EQ trick. We're gonna turn this down for both of them. Uh, and let's go into our drums here and play around a little bit with the individual sounds. So we have our kick. We can take this kick, and go like this. Let's take this, go like this. Go 
Cool, so we just affected all of our drums. We'll hit lock and we'll go check our work. Cool, so let's uh, let's make another one. Um, we'll go into our lock states and go here. Let's go to our bass synth. I'm going to take this lock state, I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to go into our bass, and I'm going to increase the cutoff frequency. And I'm going to go to this. So we have a whole bunch of lock states to play with now. Let's talk about morphing. Right now, if I play, these all switch at the same time. Um, that may be your thing, but morphing offers us some really powerful, cool ways of switching around within stuff. So I have just turned morphing on. We have two choices. We have travel and target. Travel means that it will take this long to uh, get there, and target will target one of these values in terms of where it will want to make the full switch. So let's play around with travel first. We have 16 bars to a half bar of time. Uh, let's start with one bar just as a really easy thing to check it out. If you time it right, you can create a, basically a transition. Pretty cool, right? Let's go to the next one. So that's fun, right? You can uh, use this to like travel between sections. And if you have the right kind of changes, you can actually do sort of all that transition stuff that you would normally have to like automate and program in, which is really cool. Let's go down to target and play around with these a bit. Target's what I like to use in more of like the effect laden stuff, which we will get into in a new pattern. <laughs> that cool? I think that's super cool. Um, let's add one more effect to this. We're going to be using this effect a lot more in the uh, next thing too. I'm going to go to our drums here and I'm going to go to the group and I'm going to add the performance effect. So right now engage is off. Um, so let's go to a new lock state um, and we want to change this to scratcher. I like scratcher. Uh, so let's go to our lock states and go here. <laughs> And that's it. We are going to now shift lock update. And let's go to our, uh, what do you call it? Our baseline and do the same thing. We may need to update the other ones because we've basically set like a precedent. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> We 
the cool thing is you can still use a perform effect even when the lock state has done the thing. So these tape stop effects where the scratcher stop effects are really fun to work into like a more like boom bap, lo-fi hip hop kind of thing, which is what we're going to do next. Now that we understand how lock states work, we can have a little bit more fun with them. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We got a couple kits we're going to be using for this for the more down tempo kind of thing. Let me program in a beat and then we'll work on making it funky with some lock states. <laughs> we have this amazing pattern that sounds like it was written uh, in the early 90s, uh, which apparently is the only way I can write music. Let's go over to our brown kit here. This is our effects. And let's go to the group level. I'm going to go to plugin group and see what they gave us. They gave us a beat delay, another beat delay, compressor. Uh, so this is all built into this kit. Uh, so what I am going to add is a grain delay. Oh no, sorry, not grain delay, grain stretch. I'm gonna add a grain stretch. We'll put it right there. Let's go over to this kit, nothing on the group. So uh, grain stretch, let's add a perform effects and heck, a filter. Uh, let's go back over here and add a filter. Get that cut off all the way up. Come over here, get that cut off all the way up. Change this to high pass. Actually want the cut off all the way down for high pass. Scoot this filter over, go here. Uh, high pass, filter all the way up. And there we go, filter all the way down. Let's go to our master, add a millimeter. Our base, let's go to the group and add filter. We're gonna make this high pass. Turn this all the way down. Perform effects, this will be our last one. And then let's add a lo-fi. Mix all the way down. For this one, let's also add a lo-fi. Uh, let's put it, yeah, after the filter is fine. Let's make this perform effects the scratcher. Same thing with this. And same thing with, oh, we don't even have a perform effects on this. What an idiot I am. Okay, let's take our first lock. There we go, we just did it. All right, let's go into our locks. We'll come over here and let's start playing with our effects. So the first thing we're going to do is do a simple filter thing. Update our lock state. So that's like a little lo-fi friend there. Let's go to our beat here. Let's get that lo-fi going on in there as well. Take the sample right down. So we'll return to the lock state that has everything normal. Now on this lock state, we're gonna start playing around with are grain stretchers and stuff. These things are super fun. We'll do four for that one. Four for that. Okay, cool. So, go into our lock, update. Now I'm going to take this first one here. I'm going to push it over to four by going like, it's going like that. I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to do the scratcher on for all of them. So scratcher on. You can see we can start creating cool little 
fun friends that do fun things for us. Let's go back to our grain scratch, our grain stretcher. <laughs> It's getting really, really weird with it. Really funny and weird with it, you know, my friends? So those are all very transformative. Another really fun thing you can do, uh, as far as I know, is uh, straight up like mute stuff. So let's try that real quick, because that's another really fun thing with this. So if we go into uh, another lock state, uh, right here, right here, <laughs> delete, delete you. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. So uh, we can go into um, our mixer. What we're gonna do is just take this all the way down, like that. Go into our lock, update. And of course we could do the opposite. If we go over here and then turn to the mixer, turn these two down. That's fun as heck. Are you beginning to understand the power of lock states? We can do almost anything from an automation standpoint in here and switch between them with morphing arm um, and targets and travels in terms of like how long it takes. Like what does it what does it sound like if we do this on like one bar? I'm just curious. <laughs> So with like the techno thing we did earlier, uh, those longer targets, uh, and you can actually, I mean, you should switch between them while you're performing because you can get like buildups and breakdowns, you can get long changes, and then you can get these fast changes that we've been doing here, which are really, really fun to play. So when you're building your pattern, consider what kind of lock states you might use. This really does turn the machine into a very fun performance device. And I can't believe I slept on lock states for this long. Um, okay, cool. Well, I'm going to make one little thing and uh, play us out with it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jeremy. Check out my channel, Red Mirrors Recording, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Yeah.
Спасибо. Mm,